welcome to Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministries. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us your wonderful testimony? Good morning, church. My name is Nina, and I'm standing before you today to share my wonderful testimony. So it all began in 2020 when I enrolled for my LLB degree. So during the, my third year, my almost final year, during my third year, I encountered a setback. I failed one of uh, my modules. So when I failed the modules, upon receiving my results, I realized that my script was not marked. So that usually happens when um, maybe you didn't follow the guidelines or the referencing style that was prescribed. So I didn't pay much attention to it. I was granted a supplementary exam. So I supplemented, I wrote the exam and I waited for my results. When I waited for my results, upon receiving my results again, I failed. So I failed in the same manner I failed the first time. There was no results, I was not given, not even nothing, it was just zero. So this time around, I decided to email my lecturer to find out where I went wrong, and I requested for her to review my uh, script and um, requested for a remark. Uh, the email was ignored, she didn't respond, so, Fine, I decided to re-register for the third time. So I wrote again my, the same module for the third time, um, wrote the exam, waited for my results, and upon receiving my results, I failed. <laughs> I failed again the same way, no, uh, no, no marks were given to me, and this time around I decided to go visit the campus. I went straight to the campus to find out what's going on. Ma'am, by this time, can you please tell us how did you feel failing three times? Did you find that that was normal? How is it that you felt during that time? No, I definitely didn't find it normal, especially because I was getting the same results. My script was not marked and I knew that wasn't normal. That's why I decided to go to campus this time around. I went to the campus to request for, to actually see my script and to, for them to review my results. So upon arriving, I was told that no, they, can, they do not offer such services in campus. I need to email the relevant department to request for my script. So I went back home, emailed the relevant department and my email was ignored. I called, they didn't answer. So that's when I say that, okay, it's clear that I cannot get help elsewhere. I need to turn to God. So um, now this is now the fourth time I had to re-register. This was this year, the first semester. So we had, right before Good Friday, Prophet announced that we would be having a 72 hours fast, which my family and I prayed and fast during that moment. And um, every Sunday, I'd also write behind my prayer request that I wanted to pass this module because it was holding me back from graduating. I was now doing my fourth year module with this module. I passed my fourth year modules, but this particular module, which was a third year module, I failed. So now uh, we participated in the fast, the 72 hours prayer and fasting, and every Sunday I'd always mention behind my prayer point that God, I want to pass. I need to graduate this year. So I, uh, yes, I in, um, registered and during my exam, before writing, I anointed myself with the Rafa anointing oil. I anointed myself with the Rafa anointing oil as per prophet's instructions. I anointed myself in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, and in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. And I made a prayer before writing. Um, I asked God, I said, God, I tried and I failed. I failed more than once. Now I ask of you to take over. You do it for me now. You write for me. I'm no longer the one. So I wrote my exam and I waited for my results. And before receiving my results, we participated in another 72 hours fast, which I did. Uh, my family and I fasted as, as well. And I mentioned this module and how I wanted to graduate this year. So upon receiving my results this year, for the first semester, I received um, great results by God's grace I received my results and I passed 
and I'm finally an LLB graduate. Let us put our hands together for Master Jesus. Ma'am, we see that there's a paper on the board next to you. Can you please tell us what is that about? Um, this is an email I received from my university congratulating me. It states, congratulations on completing your degree successfully. Let us put our hands together for Master Jesus. Let us look to our screens to see our sister graduating, people of God. Ma'am, can you confirm that that is you in your gown? Let us put our hands together for our new graduate, people of God. Ma'am, what is your word of advice to those who are experiencing what you had experienced? What is your word of advice to the students? My word of advice would be always rely on God. It doesn't matter how much you think you've studied or how much you think you're ready. Always involve God in everything and anything that you do. No matter how little you may think it is, involve God. Ma'am, we thank you so much for sharing your wonderful testimony. And we believe that we also shall connect by this great anointing that is upon your life and shall remain permanent in your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.